do you accidentally record somebody? Oh, so you just had the recording app on standby. And once you got face to face with Cynthia or y'all was over the phone or however this shit went down, you just happened to, oops, play or oops, hit the red button to record. That's not accidentally, baby. That's intentional. You wanted to get some tea. You wanted to get some dirt. See without love, sometimes I wonder if this how it's supposed to be. Cause I'm addicted to you like a drug and I don't know. What's up you guys? It's your girl, Sajay Craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another World on the Street segment. Oh my gosh, breaking news. This is another PS mother freaking A announcement. With all this Rona going on, okay? And remember, I don't want you. But my mama just told me, she just got a word and she was talking to some other family members that they are trying to close down the meat plant. I don't know if it's worldwide or just in Georgia. But I think she said just in Georgia because she was telling my cousin that they were coming down there where they at soon probably. And then talking about they're going to go into urban communities. Now, don't you see something wrong with that? Sink on that. Let it sink in. They're going to go into urban communities to try. Oh, I'm thinking about something else. Ooh, I intertwine two different topics. Okay. I was thinking about an antidote that the CDC is trying to get together. But you can't even test people on if they have it or not. You can't get everybody. You know, chosen few. But that's not either here nor there. But... PSA mother freaking announcement, okay? She was talking about the meat plant. They might be shutting it down because too many people having this Rona. They didn't want her, but she spread it up wide and opened it. Hold on, opened it wide and spread it loose. So they was testing positive. And you know, you can't be cross-contaminating. Let me get my words out because it's just so much. Cross contaminating with other stuff, and then you messing with my meat, and then it go through to the drugs, and then it get to the. <sighs> I might gotta be a vegetarian. You know, I'm gonna be looking good. Face, no acne. Drink hella water. I might have to become a vegetarian, y'all. It's it's getting crucial. It really is getting crucial. But if you live in Georgia, yeah, um. I think that's what the tea was when my mama spilled it. Because I'm like looking like, okay, they're going to close down the meat plant. So, eventually, meat is going to be scarce. And if you biblical, biblical like I am, y'all come, you getting where I'm coming from in the revelations. Okay. But that's not this video, my bad. Let's create, cut to the real thing. So... Yo, yo, I mean, Yovana. I'm listening to Nene call her yo yo. It's hilarious to me. But let me not disrespect you, okay? Yovana, she came out talking about some snake gate was a whole ploy or whatever that Nene had cocked up or whatever, and she just played a part in it. Well, you still at fault yourself because you went into the ploy with the producers or Nene herself. In, it, it, regardless, you played a part in it. So you need to be held responsible as well. All right. But Nene um, coming out with her truth. You know, I was going to do the whole going back and forth. But it's just too much shit going on. Y'all probably not heard it from the other bloggers. So y'all probably don't want to hear that shit no more. Hell, you probably not heard it. But this is coming from me. You know how I give my commentary. But yeah, so let's just listen to what Nene had to say, y'all. And three people that to be friends with one and maybe will help her get on the show. But she's the dumbest there is. You ain't gonna be on the show. Period. Period. Point. You're not gonna be blank. here. They used you for mm -hmm. what they needed to use you for. You're not going to be here. And what other show would have you around? You recorded, Cynthia, and you did. I have the transcript. I have all of the text the messages. With you you did. See, I knew the shit was screwed. Period. And I sent them all to Cynthia yesterday. And I have Why you had to sent to it yesterday? Just to cover your ass? Okay. I said, now you know mm -hmm. that me and the executives, I'm sorry, 
Well, one of the executives. Oh, let me push pause on that. Oh, I can't do myself, it. Myself, Greg, Yo-Yo is concerned. There ain't no problem. Her thirst level was at an all-time. Her thirst level was so high. I guess she felt it was better to be friends with three people than to be friends with one, and maybe it would help her get on the show. But she's the dumbest there is. You ain't gonna be on the okay. show. Okay. First of all, she was playing her part. But my thing is, you said executives, and you had to catch yourself. Oh, I meant one of the executives. So, uh-huh. I be telling y'all, this shit be scripted. They play. They are characters. They're characters. Some shit might be a little true. But other, it's just exaggerated. So, you, you can watch it. So, they can keep making these episodes. So, they can keep making this moolah. Okay. Next. Yeah. Her husband, Rick, and her, we all sat in a meeting at the Intercontinental Hotel, mm -hmm. okay, where they wanted her to let them hear a little bit of the voice recording because they wanted to know that she had it for real and she wasn't lying just mm. to be on the show and around the show. Her husband said he heard it, and when he heard it, he told her she could not play it because it would ruin their reputation and everything. But prior to that, she had already sent me the transcript. And she had mm. already sent me what her husband had said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's as far as I'm going to go. Why you can't go a little further? Her I was going to try to read this, but this shit is, you know, my vision a little effed up right now because I ain't been to the eye doctor in a, let's just say a good minute, okay? And it's kind of blur, but I'm going to try to my best ability. Okay, it says, hi girl, Rick don't want me playing the video. He was weird about the ramifications. Oh, he was worried about the ramifications um, of something like this later on once it aired. Having a lasting impact. On what, girl? You What does Giovanna and her husband do? Please let me know in the comment section below. Not only to our business... Our clients trust my livelihood overall. Me looking sketch as hell. So why even bring up? See, this is why I'm getting mad at you, Yo-Yo. I meant oh, I why, you're why even bring up that you have a recording? You would think you would want to share it. You already done brought it to the Zek Nene. You know damn sure Nene ain't gonna want you to play that shit. And then she said you already sent her something to verify that it was a court. Ugh. Why even waste your time if you ain't gonna go all the way through, baby girl? <sighs> but there's no recording. Damn, I done lost my, tr my track. Okay. Um... Okay, he said being on camera saying she said X, Y, and Z is different than playing audio that I accidentally. How the f you? How you accidentally record somebody? Let's just pause on that right there. How do you accidentally record somebody? Oh, so you just had the recording app on standby, and once you got face to face with Cynthia or y'all was over the phone or however this shit went down. You just happened to oops play or oops hit the red button to record. That's not accidentally baby. That's intentional. You wanted to get some tea. You wanted to get some dirt. How the Cynthia can pursue legal action against me which she can and I am not protected by Bravo Once again, why even bring up something if you know the consequences behind it? I just don't know. And you ain't ready or prepared for it. You 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 feel me, people? Okay. Just trying to make sure y'all follow following along. Okay. Um, he already annoyed. He told me not to do it, but I did it anyway. I don't have a problem saying on camera what she said or calling her out to her face in front of you. It's just not safe to play that video. Why bring it up? And then she gonna type 
some um stuff on her Instagram talking about some. It took you two days to piece these text messages together, or something like that, something to that effect. I'm like, girl, and it took you a day and a half to tell somebody you got a recording, and you talking about now it's no recording. What the? What? I'm kind of on Nene's side now because to me, in order for you to get on the show, you got to have something for these people. You got to have some type of dirt that you're going to be bringing to the table for them to even think of wanting to put you on camera. How are you going to make us get bigger in the game? How are you going to make us get more ratings? What can you bring to the table? Now, obviously, you said you had a record of Cynthia Trash talking. Uh, I'm done with it. Okay, I'm just done. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next word on the street. Be breezy.